Ever wondered how to build an email list from scratch? It's one of the only marketing assets that you have complete control over. Once you have a list, you can generate more traffic to your website, foster relationships with customers, and make money for your business. Now, how do you start an email list? That's the hard part, especially since people tend to tightly guard their email address. Before gaining email addresses, you need to build attention, trust, and deliver value with your emails. Today, we'll be discussing how to build an email list from scratch. I'm Alex here with Jotform. Let's get started. The first step is to choose an email marketing platform. You may want to get started with your own email via Gmail or Outlook, but this won't get you the best results. There are platforms out there that are specifically designed for email marketing, such as ConvertKit, MailChimp, Constant Contact, and HubSpot. These platforms can give you features like email analytics, and they can grow with you as your email list grows. Plus, MailChimp offers a free plan to those with fewer than 2,000 contacts. Next step is to create and deliver valuable content that people will want to read. A lot of people see how successful email marketing can be and rush to jump onto the bandwagon without considering if they have something really valuable to offer their customers. Ask yourself, why would anyone subscribe to my email list? You need to be able to connect with your list, hold their attention, and deliver something valuable to them. Now it's time to create your signup form. The main field of your signup form should be an email address, but you can also collect first and last names to help personalize your emails. After you have created the signup form, you'll need to embed it onto the relevant pages of your website. Try including it above the fold on your home page, on the about page, in the checkbox option on your checkout page, in the footer, and as a call out on blog posts. When your signup form is readily available to your customers, they are more likely to actually sign up. Next, consider leveraging email pop-ups in a strategic way. Don't get me wrong, pop-ups can be annoying, but they do work if they are well-written, include a compelling offer, don't take up the entire page, and are easy to click out of. The company Wait But Why did a great job of incorporating email pop-ups that are on brand and tried not to bother the customer on the other side of the screen. Now it's time to create a flagship piece of content. This is something that would usually be gated behind an email signup form. This is a great lead magnet as it gives customers a taste of what's in store if they sign up for your emails. This could be something like an ebook, a white paper, a cheat sheet, an online course, or a challenge. Interactive quizzes are a great option too, and in order for them to get their results, they have to sign up for your emails. Get the word out to your family, friends, and customers. This is the best way to get your first batch of subscribers. If you have an email concept that you really like and believe in, talk to your friends about it and ask them to sign up. Post about it on your business social media accounts so that more people know about it and potentially sign up. You can even use your email signature to get the word out to people. Include the sign up form in your email signature so that anyone you send an email to will see it and potentially sign up. As mentioned before, utilize social media. Include a link to the form in your social media bios. You can even make it a pinned tweet on your Twitter account or use a tool like Linktree to have multiple calls to action or CTAs in one link. You can even use your YouTube videos to promote the email list. You can add an opt-in onto the side of your videos so that people can easily see it, but it's not too distracting from the video. Post about the list regularly on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, LinkedIn, and Instagram. And to make things easier for yourself, you can use tools like Buffer, Hootsuite, or Meet Edgar to schedule these posts in advance. You should also make it easy for other people to share your emails. Great content should be easily shareable with friends, family, and coworkers. After you have your initial group of contacts, it's time to add some social proof to your signup form copy. This should be something to show potential subscribers that you have something that other people are enjoying. This could be a testimonial, your number of subscribers if it's over a thousand, or a list of well-known people or companies subscribed to your newsletter. Our final step is to offer some types of incentives to join your list. You can do this through contests or giveaways. People always want to win free stuff. 
Make sure that you are tying the contest back to your brand. That way, people will stay on your list even after the giveaway is over. For example, if you sell gardening products, it would make more sense to give away one of your best-selling products instead of an iPad. More people might sign up to win for the iPad, but after the giveaway is over, they will likely unsubscribe because they were never interested in your content to begin with. Okay, let's review these steps one more time. Choose an email marketing platform, create and deliver valuable content that people will want to read, and create sign-up form. Leverage email pop-ups strategically and share a flagship piece of content. Tell your friends and family about your list, utilize your email signature, include links to the sign-up form in social media bios, and add an opt-in to your videos. Share it on social media, make it easy for people to share, leverage social proof, and offer an incentive to join your list. Creating a brand new email list can be challenging but following these tactics can make the process much easier. Thanks for watching today. I'm Alex here with Jotform. Have a good one.